What are we doing today, guys? Well, no big green screen intro. We're going to look at five wonderful boring cliffs. You see, it's W. Yeah, you know. Let's turn this around and start cracking into this. I know you guys are going to say that you've seen some of these knives in other videos after you get to that point, but they haven't been in a compilation video like this. So let's start with this one right here. This is the Terramundi Knives Warning Button. Now, this is a Dirk Pinkerton design. Uh, it is a very unique knife in not in just the fact that it has a great, great Warrencliffe blade and profile, but it has one of the coolest lock mechanisms on the market. The button lock that's done on this, the plunger lock that's on this, is built into the pivot. And I've been trying to get a picture of it. I will try to find one, a way to take it apart. I have been unable to do it with this one. But basically, it is like a uh, button lock, but it has a little tab that sits in here. And as the blade rotates, there's two spots where it catches. It drops in and out, and you just basically push the button. So same mechanism as a button lock, but done inside the pivot, which gets a really clean look. And it is a lot of fun. I think it's one of those locks that's definitely going to change the knife industry. This thing is ground super, super thin. M390 blade slices like a champ. You've got this really nice squat downward leaning angle that really leans into the cut the way this is done you've got a very poising, point, uh, piercing tip on this a nice high grind on this that gives you a nice thin behind the edge profile and i've never had a dirk pinkerton knife that i did not like come in jimping on this is just about perfect nice two-tone blade you've got a stone wash and then uh, grinder satin on this the scales are done in a fine, fine blasted titanium, and the action on this thing is insane. Listen to that snap. It has a very, very cool feel. It's, it is is a, it is a culmination of a bunch of things that make it so cool. You've got a reversible pocket clip as well, forgot to mention. Nice pocket clip on this, by the way. But it's got so much going for it. And then just to throw that really cool newer style lock mechanism in makes it even better. There you go. Your first one, the warning button by Terra Money Knives, which is a beyond EDC, um, their premium line. It is not yet available, but I will have links for this as soon as it is. Guys, uh, this is the QSP Pelican. You guys just saw first day in pockets here. Uh, I just put that video up today, so it could be up to a couple weeks before you see this video, but I have been carrying it a lot. Beautifully done S35VN Warrencliffe blade that comes down nice and thin behind the edge. Great thing about a Warrencliffe, you can do a really tall grind on it and get a very, very, I keep saying tall, broad grind on it and get a nice behind the edge thickness. This one's done in black micarta. You can get this in several different colors on Blade HQ. I'll have a link to as many of these knives as I can down below. Uh, micarta backspacer as well, which gives it a very, very cool look. So you have the same material. So you can see the layers in that as it matches up with the handle material. This is a flipper only and it's got a very nice, I, most people are going to tell you and tell me that this is a sheep's foot. It's, it probably is more akin to a sheep's foot, but you know, at this point, <laughs> you're blurring the lines. Um, the way this feels in hand is incredible. You've got very, very goodly, uh, good shaped handles, very well shaped handles that just feel amazing in hand. The flipper is just in a perfect spot to make it a good finger guard, but not aggressive. Liners have been polished and you've got good access to it. The action on this thing, superbly smooth. I've never had a bad QSP knife. I have cut a lot of things with this. This is a amazing, amazing work knife. The only down thing I would say is I wish the jimping was a little sharper. So if that's something you look for, just keep that in mind. Stonewash blade, like I said, some of the best micarta you're going to find on the market in QSP knives. Uh, you just can't go wrong with them. This thing is just absolutely a workhorse of a knife. So there you go. QSP Pelican. I'll have links below. This is a knife that you can pick up right now over at Precision knifeworksusa.com this i don't make any money when you guys use this like this is just because daniel has made an amazing knife this is the warren tack and this thing is probably one of the best cutting knives on the market right now if not the best you are looking at a super deep hollow grind on the production versions you're looking at 
0.018 behind the edge. He's doing other ones down to 0 0.010 or even thinner that he's hand regrinding. This thing is an, you see, I'm being very careful to stay away from the edge. This thing is an absolute laser. Uh, frame lock done in titanium, super light because there's a ton of weight reduction. Reverse flick only, and you've got this huge uh, reverse flick aperture in it. The aperture in it not only reduces weight, but gives you a huge place to put your finger for reverse flick, which is good because that is the only deployment. Some of the best jimping on any knife, and this thing comes from tip to tail in a full radius all the way around, fits your hand beautifully and puts you in a direct line with the cut. The tip on this is nightmare sharp, like piercing sharp. This thing is every bit as thin and slicey as a Yojimbo, but more in a more in a work-related fashion. This is much more of a user-friendly knife that's not built for self-defense. Pocket clip on this is amazing. It is reversible, and you have a placeholder, and it's done, and it's deep enough and milled in there that there is no play. The milling on this gives you a very tactile feel. It doesn't feel aggressive, but it also is not slippery. Even if you have wet hands, you're getting a good grip. If you've got gloves on, it's even better. And I've had this knife apart Twice the internals on this are incredibly good. The actually just listen to that thing slam open. Super, super good. One of the best new knives on the market. I absolutely love it. It's probably one of the best Warren Cliffs that you're going to find out there right now that's not a fixed blade designed by me. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. No one likes to watch ads in the middle of a video. I don't like putting them in, but I do know that I gotta support what I do here. So I partnered with companies that I know I can trust. And today's sponsor is Coffee Brand Coffee. They're delivering quality coffee, freshly roasted on demand, ground to order and delivered to your door. And they're not doing anything political. So you don't have to worry about a company that you're that you're supporting, that is supporting causes that you might not agree with because they don't support any causes. They just simply take the money and put it back into making a better product. So I would appreciate if you both support their new small business and my channel by checking out Coffee Brand Coffee and looking at their offerings. Use the link below and my coup or my coupon code crazy sharp on their website it's crazy sharp all one word capital c capital s let's get back to this and it's the monterey bay knives slayback you have seen this in so many videos because it is so good this is bridging the gap between traditional slip joint pocket knives flippers and just a there's so many things that this brings to the table. It's got that swayback look like you'd expect in a swayback. They call it the slayback. This one is in ZDP 189, clad with 420J as the jacket steel. So you've got a laminated blade. This thing has only had to be sharpened once because the ZDP 189 on this is at about 67 Rockwell. Carbon fiber handles, titanium backspacer, one of the best pocket clips in the knife industry. This is done as a flipper with a liner lock, really thin liner. This thing is insanely light. You put it in your pocket, you forget it's there, but yet this has the cutting horsepower of knives three times its size. The nice sway back feel of this gives you a good, good alignment to a cut. You can power down on the cut. You've got good access to that thin liner, even though it has not been had any material removed. Uh, the flipping action on this is amazing. Running on ceramic bearings. This came with a full set of hardware, a complete pivot, all the hardware screw, all the body screws you would need in case you lost any part of this knife in disassembly. And it's just gorgeous. Monterey Bay Knives has made some of the best looking knives that they are, they are amazing looking in their simplicity. They are very simple, very clean, very good lines. Beautiful execution. Ray Laconico, one of my favorite designers, designed this. I love this knife. I love everything Ray has ever done. And then Monterey Bay just executed this super, super well. Go to Monterey Bay Knives. Look for these. See if they're in stock. You can find them sometimes in stock. They are awesome, awesome knives. You guys knew that you weren't going to see a Warren Cliff video without my Master Blaster in it. Now, I know it's kind of unfair. You can't get these. These were a very limited run. This is a very, very special one, but this is my favorite Warren Cliff of all time. The Ferrum Forge Knife Works in-house build, USA made. 
Master Blaster. Mine's been heavily, heavily customized. Um, it's been hand carved. This was a custom piece that was requested by some of my friends that bought this for me. 20 CV blade. This was a collaboration between Farron Forge Knife Works, Elliot's Designs, and Les George over at George Knives. This thing is probably one of the not only ba most badass looking knives, but also one of the most comfortable knives to cut with and carry. And you want to talk about a knife that will get you some attention. This runs on a rolling detent, ceramic bearings, just super smooth. Listen to that. Just such a smooth, smooth action. Any manipulation of that knife just flies open. Super comfortable with this great big forward finger choil. And then all this custom work. This is a hand pressed piece of copper that's pressed down into that scale and then hand carved. Just a beautiful, beautifully executed knife. Not to brag, that's my personal. You're never going to be able to find one like this. Um, if you can, it means somebody stole my knife. Not to just throw that out there, but I really wanted to put this in a video because I love this knife. So let's turn us around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. That was five of what I think are some of the best Warren Cliff knives that are out there. And I do know that that last one you can't ever get, but I can't do a video about Warren Cliffs without including what I think is the best showing of a Warren Cliff, period. And it's my personal one, and it has a lot of history. It's something that I love because it was a gift. So you guys know what to do. Like the videos or don't like them, but tell me why. I can't change that content if you don't tell me what you don't like. You want to support the channel? You can absolutely do that financially by hitting up Coffee Brand Coffee or Tempered Trail and using coupon code Crazy Sharp for Tempered Trail. Or use the link down below for Coffee Brand Coffee. It saves you 5%. I get stuff. I get paid because you bought the coffee they have a money back guarantee you can't go wrong with it i have an amazon store down below take that pin it to your browser use that for any amazon shopping you would do it doesn't cost you anything and you don't even have to put on pants to do it i also have got a membership down below it's all tier based everyone has access to the gilded server where we hang out i also do giveaways for the baseline and premium tier members on the Gilded Server and the Premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind the paywall. So guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section if it's your birthday. Happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next video.